Hey, Ted here with XBED. Today we're going to give you a little walk through the Venus 2 so you get an idea of what's going on with this tent. This is a fantastic four season tent, perfect for backpacking, mountaineering, all weather, all conditions. Nice low profile so it hunkers down out of the wind, very wind stable. I'm going to go ahead and walk you a little bit closer so you can see some of the details. <clears throat> As with all the XBED tents, this is an exoskeleton tent, and if you saw one of our earlier videos where we actually talked about the setup of the Venus 2, you'll notice that the, the poles actually go into the fly rather than onto the inner tent. The inner tent, on the other hand, is suspended from the fly and the pole structure itself, so you get a really stable one pitch, everything set up to go. It's a really nice tent to work with that way. Again, this is a two-person tent, and it has two doors, a vestibule, a vestibule that extends out on this side and a vestibule that extends out of the other side, so if you've got two people you can go out either way, or you can go ahead and have a single wide entrance right here that two people can get out of at any point in time. In fact, we're going to bring you a little closer to this now. <clears throat> You'll notice this big mesh door that I have set up. I'm going to open this up, shove this in the back pocket. You'll notice exactly what I was talking about, how wide this is. You can actually have two people sitting side by side, lacing up boots, or doing whatever they got to do over here. <clears throat> Most cases, you probably want to kick the other person out the back side of the door, but it just depends upon how you're situated. Once you're inside the tent, you'll notice that this awning, or the fly, actually extends out over, so that even in wet weather, when it's raining, I can have this door open, as long as it's not blowing, and the rain actually falls to the outside of the whole configuration. On the other hand, I could go ahead and again extend the vestibule so I've got plenty of space, plenty of room to cover up anything I've got out in the front side, backpacks, shoes, boots, whatever else. <clears throat> when you slide into the tent, <clears throat> you notice you've got plenty of people or plenty of space in here for two people. You got pocketing for each person, both on the foot side of the door and also at the head side of the door. So you can go ahead and plenty of places to store wet socks, headlamps, that kind of a thing. It doesn't matter which way your situation, you could go ahead and switch head for head and not hit, miss any pockets that way. You also notice, I don't know if you can see this here, Kai, but if you focus up here, you'll see that there's actually a, um, a hammock up on the top side, or an attic where you can go ahead and put headlamps and other things that need to dry out. Perfect place to store that. Take that out if you don't want it. <clears throat> the floor is completely a bathtub floor. So you got 10,000 millimeter coating on the floor materials, completely seam taped to one piece. So you've got a really solid, durable floor, no water coming into that area. Obviously, you can always put a footprint on it if you want to. It's a little bit redundant, extra weight, but if you're really concerned about the durability, you can do that. It's one of the most robust floors that are out there. If I spin over this way, you can actually see through to the other vestibule, give you an idea of the space that you've got going on right here. Plenty of room to work with. Vents are easily adjustable from the inside. I can go ahead and zip down this way to peek out or I can reach down to the bottom and zip up, flip it over. If it's a really hot, humid day, uh, excuse me, hot, humid night, I'd go ahead and open this up so I get air passing through the entire tent. On the other hand, if it's a really snowy, spin drift kind of a day, I'd zip everything down nice and tight, zip the mesh door shut, and then go ahead and zip the fabric door so nothing comes spinning on the inside. Really comfortable tent, great for two people. I suppose in an emergency you could squeeze a third in here, but otherwise it's a fantastic two-person backpacking mountaineering tent. Thanks.